Hey, what's up, Wolfpack? It's your boy Iman Chu back with a new video, and yeah, today we are summarizing what really did the dev said in the Saitama Ask Me Anything session that was just held like a few hours earlier from now. So I'm gonna go all in details about what all are the explanations by the dev and how they're going to uh, make it go to the moon again. So, but before I say that. Yeah, I know that the event in which we had Jake asking for some stupid donations to get to do some shots. I know that was absolutely embarrassment. But, you know, at the end of the day, he's just a YouTuber. He's, he's not officially working with the team. But I know that he has been paid by Saitama uh, developers. So it is his responsibility to uh, present himself better when doing a live stream when thousands of people are watching it so without wasting your further time let's get straight into the summarization of the ama so first up they said that the logo was independently designed at creation so no copyright issue so i guess they're trying to clear the fud around the copyright issue on the logo so they said the logo was designed independently at their own creation so there shouldn't the there wouldn't be no copyright issue so this was the first thing that devs discussed so next up we have lily finance will be powered by saitama through Sera mask but it's still its own entity llc so only available on Sera mask available at launch this is part this is the start of the branch into the medical field so i'm sure you all know that uh, they're going to uh, hop into the medical field revolutionize the medical field with lily finance with the lily token which will be powered by saitama through the Sera mask but the lily finance will have their own company will have their own entity limited libel corporation so this was the second thing that they uh, wanted to make clear so and third up we have everything is being done by the book so no shortcuts we have to be patient i mean it's pretty clear i don't have to explain it so next up we have the sera max development is complete for v1 version 1 only waiting for the completion of certic audit so we know that they're going to launch the sera mass as soon as they have uh, completed the certic audit for sera mass so it's going to be crazy it's going to be awesome once we have the certic audit and sera uh, sera mass wallet releasing to download and yeah we have like uh, almost less than two weeks the sera mask wallet will be releasing well let's hope they don't delay this more than two weeks so if they uh, like like hopefully i i'm praying like they don't delay this of uh, sera mask release but if in case they do the they do further delay on the sera mask wallet release i mean it's going to be pretty hard time for serama token if they do so but fingers crossed hoping for the best and let's hope Sera mass will release in less than two weeks next up we have another update and this is huge so this is five percentage stable staking and you will be able to pull out at any time so you can get five percentage stable annual percentage yield on your Sera mass and like you can literally pull that pull your profits out anytime without any time limitation and like alternatively the, they also have announced dynamic stake staking in which they have divided this into different time frames so if you hold for 30 days you're going to get two percentage if you hold for 60 days you will get four percentage staking rewards if you hold for 180 days you will get six percentage staking rewards and yeah one thing that I would like to add is that staking is in addition to the 2% reflection. So this is awesome. Next up we have uh, staking is all only gained after the staking time is reached. So Max, Max, the developer of the Serama, he is working on visual breaking down to better explain the stuff, which is awesome. Next up we have the Sera Safe. And Sera Safe is just a cold wallet. So those who don't know what cold wallets are, so cold wallets are pretty much the physical wallets like a Ledger and Treasure. We all know that sometimes if you want to hold your crypto into a physical uh, physical wallet, a physical hardware device, that that will be Sera Safe. And this is in the 
development right now and once this thing launch this is going to like 10x the utility of Seta Max. so i'm really hoping for Seta safe all to come out pretty soon as well and the current holdback of this uh Seta safe is the global chip shortage so they're probably we are having a shortage of the global chip i think global chips are some devices that will be used to develop this Seta safe cold wallet just like uh treasure nano x those are a physical hardware wallet so data safe is going to be huge fingers crossed let's hope this thing come out soon and we hopefully get away with this global chip shortage and yeah and the prototype should be available for demonstrating hopefully in a few months so they're going to get the sample the demo the prototype which will be available for pretty soon for the demonstration hopefully in a couple of months i am so excited for what's coming next Next up, we have Saitama token has been audited and the current audit is for Saitama. Max has been in talks with them about changing the title of the audit page to Saitama instead of uh, um, instead pay, uh, audit of the page to Sera Mask instead of Saitama token to reduce FUD. So yeah, let's make it clear. So the audit that they have done is uh, under the name of Saitama token, but now the developer of the token Max he is trying to change the title of that audit to Saitama mask instead of Saitama token So I think that's probably going to be good because we are right now having a lot of fun around Saitama token because people are thinking that we are doing another audit for Saitama token which is literally making people uh, sell and uh, it's creating a lot of fart so once they do get the name change we can hopefully reduce much fart next up we have saitama mask update so saitama mask will have two-factor authentication and three-factor authentication f as well so 2fa and 3fa and like i have never seen any i, I have never heard three-factor authentication earlier so i think this is going to be a revolutionary feature in the Saitama mask which will add like a lot of security in the token a lot of security in the Saitama mask wallet and they're trying to make sure that your funds will be safe in the Saitama mask and i think this is the re this is the only reason why they're taking so much time to release Saitama mask wallet is because they're trying to make it the best wallet out there they're, they're trying to add a lot of good things in the wallet and yeah next up we have exchange listing is a process especially for those tier one exchanges larger exchanges take everything through through a legal team so yeah we have kucoin listing around the corner we we could also have a coinbase listing around the corner we we like earlier we had some news regarding the coinbase listing, but there is a confirmed cool coin listing coming pretty soon and i think that listing is going to be awesome so they're saying that the listings are in process so as we all know kucoin is the third largest exchange in the world and listing on an exchange of such big magnitude really takes a lot of time so we really do need to wait and see what's gonna happen once we get list on the kucoin and i think kucoin listing is going to be the best thing ever that has done, uh, that has happened to Saitama. That's literally going to take KuCoin from here to there, like straight to the moon. But I'm hoping they uh, get the KuCoin listing before the end of 2021. That's going to be awesome. Next up, we have Sera Gaming, Sera Social, and Sera Edu will integrate with the Sera City Metaverse concerts, museums. Everything is being created from the ground up. So. The Sera Gaming, Sera Social, Sera Edu, all these things are going to like literally 100x the utility of Saitama token. So we know that Sera Gaming, so Saitama just had a 50 million uh, partnership with Blaze Fire Games and they're going to do something in the esports through Sera Gaming. Next up we have Sera Social, I'm not sure what Sera Social is, so I'm not gonna comment on that. But then we have Sera Edu, so they will they will try to create some educational uh, uh, corporate uh, organization to integrate people, and this all will be will be the part of Sera City Metaverse, which will be awesome. So yeah, they're really trying to hop into the into the Meta Metaverse 
hype right now metaverse is huge facebook just rebranded themselves to meta i think metaverse will going to be huge and it's good that saitama is considering metaverse so so Seda city metaverse i'm excited for that and this is where they will have concerts museums everything is being created from the ground up next up we have more stuff planned for new york city I mean new york event in the new york city so they're probably going to have another event which i'm not sure about is true or not but i think this one they do not mess up like they did in the vegas i hope this event is going to be better more professional not like a nightclub party so yeah and hopefully jake could learn what he did wrong from his mistakes he made and he, next time he present himself nicer like a more gentleman kind of stuff uh, like a gentleman so yeah next up they have like acknowledge event was wasn't portrayed well using it as a learning experience it was intended to be a celebration so now they're like uh, defending themselves saying that uh, this was not intended to be a uh, event uh, rather they're saying that this was intended to be a celebration and they said they know that the event wasn't that good and they're uh, they, like they're accepting their uh, mistakes they made they're accepting and they're taking this as a learning experience which is good which makes me believe the team is really responsible for their own did which is good okay next up they have goal for blockchain which is uh, not to fork off another blockchain but develop a completely independent one and will have its own dev team awesome so yeah now they're going for blockchain which is to fork off another blockchain so well pretty soon we are going to see the saitama own blockchain and this is when we would not have to rely on the ethereum gas fees because they're literally going to switch from ethereum mainnet that blockchain to the to their own set mass blockchain which will be huge but i think it's going to take some time to launch so excited next up they have payment integration the goal is to be able to deposit withdraw fiat in set mass but also use the fiat for tap to play options in retail stores like apple pay so yeah they're thinking that in set mass they want to add a real payment option just like you know apple pay because apple pay is really the biggest payment option out there that a lot of people use in us so i think this is will be huge next up they have no intention on taking saitama limited libel corporation public so we all know that saitama is a company now this is a llc and they have no intention or uh, goal to take this company public and by public i mean they're not going to uh, make their own stock they're not going to release their own stock to be traded in the st traditional stock market uh, probably in the uh, new york stock exchange or anything so it's good like they don't want to make the company go public uh, rather they their first priority is to is for the successful release of seda mass so it's all good i think i made myself clear i discuss all the things that should be summarized in the event the video is already 13 minutes long so i don't want to make stretch this video longer the price have now started going back up but remember no financial advice i'm just a normal guy like you and if you do want to appreciate my effort you can do that by pressing the subscribe button with bell notification and also dropping a like on this video with that said also join the telegram community it's your boy himansu signing out i'll see you in the next video Thanks for watching. Invest Foxy Crypto. It's your boy Himansu signing out. I'm out.